to our last wine that we have here. We have a 2009 Petite Syrah. Now Petite Syrah is sort of a unique variety that is just sort of gaining popularity, wouldn't you say? Yes, um, it seems to be uh, coming along in popularity. It's almost like uh, the new Malbec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> there, is a, there, there are always trends in the wine business. Um, but it's, it's funny that we say this wine is um, new because this, in fact, comes from our oldest vineyard. Oh, really? Uh, yes, it was planted uh, in the 60s. It's one of the older vineyards in Paso Robles. So these uh, vines are very thick. They're um, about as the diameter of uh, a soccer ball. Oh, wow. So they're big, gnarly old vines. Uh, and they produce uh, wonderful grapes. It's probably one of the easier vineyards for me to work with because what comes off the vine is naturally really in balance. Um, it's almost like these vines have some sort of wisdom that they, they've gained over all these years. Um, they've seen just about every weather condition. So <laughs> it's almost like they, uh, they know when there's going to be a freeze so they don't come out early or... Um, <laughs> I always think there's walking through there, there's something mystical about this, about this vineyard. Right, we can almost call this an old vine Petite Syrah then, yes, right? Yes, and actually this is uh, our old vine Petite Syrah, it says um, on the label. Oh, and um, I think Petite Syrah, it's, it's also known as, um, it has a secondary name, Derif. Um, right. So there's a little bit of history thing. behind it, and I might as well... Uh, Give you a little of that. Would you like to know a little <laughs> bit about the yes, I think there's always a, a lot of confusion about um, what is it? Why is it petite? Is it right. the, is it just a little Syrah? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> is there a little Syrah in it? So um, confusing. So uh, it is actually um, a cross. You know, we were talking about mutations earlier, and now mm. we're going to talk about crosses of um, a very little known grape called uh, Pelourcine, and it was had basically a one-night stand with um, Syrah, and that's what it's best known oh, for. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that cross um, created uh, Petite Syrah, what is known today as a Derif or Petite Syrah, depending on where you are. In the United States, um, it is commonly known as Petite Syrah, but it produces a very um, strong blueberry fruit flavors, um, a good mid-palate. The wines tend to be a little bit short, uh, on the finish, they don't linger very long, but there's some black pepper and spice, and they tend to be tannic and heavy and powerful. Um, and for that reason, we've paired it up um, A at the end of this tasting, mm -hmm. but B also with um, a very nice, rich um, dish that, that Kevin prepared. Kevin, let's let's hear about this dish that you prepared. All right. Well, we went ahead with uh, a, a nice fatty uh, piece of meat. With uh, we did. Did a three-hour braise on short ribs, oh. uh, threw all kinds of mirepoix in there and good red wine and uh, actually some clay house wine that we had. Oh. And uh, we decided to go ahead and do a little kimchi. Uh, it was kind of the richness to stand up to the wine and then just kind of a little surprise, give it a little kimchi to kind of slice through. And then uh, fin we talked about the wine not finishing very long. The kimchi gives it a little bit of that to keep carrying it out. So uh, we thought that would go good with... Right, that's fantastic, but I have to ask you more about this kimchi. Mm -hmm. I know nothing about it, it sounds very intriguing. It's a fancy Korean word for uh, pickled uh, cabbage. Oh, okay. So, uh, I just thought that with the, with the acidity of being pickled and whatnot, that it would carry, it would help with the richness of the short rib and the wine to kind of just give it a little, like I say, kind of slice right through it all. Well, they pair wonderfully together. And it's hard to finish. It's a kimchi has such a strong flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to end a tasting with food. It's kind of hard to go backwards after yeah. kimchi. So. Oh, right. It's, yeah. it's palate fatigue we were talking about, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. Well, it's delicious. I think it's a wonderful way to end that. Mm -hmm.